Has it been a good year for peaches? It's been a very good year for peaches. The peaches are ready. My brother planted this peach orchard, and peach trees usually are productive for right around 20 years. On White Gate Farm in Draken. This is about as far north as they grow. If we could golf and hit a golf ball straight, yeah. just over the wall is New Hampshire. Jim works the farm. Who had the vision for the farm? Oh, this was clearly my brother. His brother, John. For things that occurred that week, yeah. it was like in slow motion. John was the pilot on American Airlines Flight 11. He always had a dream of flying. 92 passengers and crew on board. Of course, my brother went to work that morning. A flight from Boston to Los Angeles. And breaking news, right. an airplane hit the World Trade Center. Right. Jim was flying out of Logan that day too. And as we're going to Logan, they get notified that all flights are canceled. We thought it was kind of strange. So I called back to my sister-in-law, and it was, as soon as I called her, she said it was John. It was John's last trip before 10 days off. This is remarkable. Of course, it has his birth date yep. and uh, September 11th on it. Yep. A picture of my brother. Yep. Right here, you can see the tractor, his favorite tractor, which is still right there. 10 days off for John to jump on his favorite tractor, to harvest the peaches, bring in the hay. You're good boy, Mac. Jim and Max know just about every one of the farm's 120 acres. Where's your property go? Right up the tree line right. for this field. Yep. And every inch of the massive stone wall. This is over my head. And John is right there with him. There's a reminder with us every day. Mm -hmm. My digital clock reminds me twice mm -hmm. a day, 9-11. Mm 9-11, -hmm. yeah, yeah, right? And right. It's a, it'd be surprised how many times I see it yeah. every, all, in the course of a week. The family resemblance is unmistakable, and the brotherly competition is undeniable. Who was the stronger <laughs> one? Oh, he was. Yeah? Yeah. I'd, I'd probably be more of the runt of the litter. Who was the, who was the quicker the, one? Uh, my brother John. Who was the smart one? Well, John being the older brother, uh, always a, a few years ahead of me in school, uh, he was, yeah, I'd have to say he was the smarter one, and I don't want to admit that. Jim was born after John. Well, that's the sad thing. I was younger than John. John yeah. was my older brother. Yeah. But a very difficult time for me is when I became older than John. When you passed so, his, his... That, well, he died at age 50. Right. Um, and now I'm 63. Yeah. And now I'm older than my older brother. There, there's something's not right there. Yeah. Something's not right. Yeah. It just, it's not supposed to be that way. Yeah. The barn has reminders of John on that favorite tractor with his family, working the farm, images that bring fond memories. The only times that it's a real negative is when I see the Twin Towers. That, that's a that's a painful one. Have you been to the, the memorial? Have you been to New I, York? But I got within half a mile of it and I couldn't go. For years, Jim would look into the fields, half expecting John to walk out. I talk to him all the time. You do? Oh, yeah. Uh, sometimes if I'm going to do something the way he wouldn't have necessarily done it, I kind of just kind of glance up and, and just shake my head a little bit. <laughs> And he, I'm sure he communicates with you in a strange way, too. Oh, you know, those thunderstorms have rolled in a little quicker than they will forecast. Day in. I get up at 4.30 without an alarm clock. I wake my wife up at 6, and then I'm up here for the rest of the day. Day out. Whether it's get ready to mow some hay, or there's always something to do on the farm. He works and worries over the farm. The nutrient from this row of trees is being stolen by all those big maple trees. The farm is there. And that was my brother's dream home. And if you look at the stones for the stone on the side of the house and the chimneys, all the stones are from these fields. To remind him of his brother. He did a lot in 50 years. He did, oh yeah. Um, he, had, he had a goal every day to accomplish something and his goals today were his accomplishments tomorrow. And tomorrow, there will be peaches to pick.